the Charles C. Dean Wilderness is the only congressionally designated wilderness area in the state of Indiana. Designated by Congress in 1982, the Dean is overseen by the U.S. Forest Service, Hoosier National. It has 12,953 acres and is managed to preserve a natural condition and provide opportunities for solitude. Hey guys, it's John. We are at the Grub Ridge Trailhead and we're going to head to uh, Peninsula Trail. Right up in there. Right here in the Hoosier National Forest. It's time for some adventures. Let's go. Well, I guess the snakes are out. The guy's just moving along. We are at our junction now. The Peninsula Trail, number 211. About three miles in, seeing more and more views of Lake Monroe. This trail is just muddy all around, so very slow hiking. So far within these three miles, I saw about three or four different campsites you could use. None of the campsites are reservable, so you kind of come at your own risk. Tomorrow is a good Friday, and I figured if I left after work and hiked out, I'd have a pretty good chance of getting a campsite. If not, I'll just have to turn around and make it back to the truck. Muddy, muddy. There's like no good way to get around this section. Well, we made it to Lake Monroe. Now we need to find a campsite. So just off the trail, found campsite 19. Got a little fire pit going, blocked the wind. Amazing views of the lake. A good friend of mine and a subscriber, Caleb Valdez, asked me to do some uh, reviews. So we're gonna do a review today on the uh, Jet Broil Flash which is something that I've had for about five years now. And uh, also the Santa Fe style rice and beans with chicken. Um, to make this, you need to boil two cups of water. So when you get the, the jet broil, everything fits nice and snug inside of it. Uh, you have, a, you have your, your canister of uh, your protein, it screws right in, and then into, this, in, into the blue base, and then this top just screws on it as well. Uh, it has a little valve, and it also has a little push button. Turn the valve and press the, the, the push button, and you're, uh, you're boiling. Once you get it going, you see that side, uh, it'll turn yellow. When it's yellow all the way to the top, the water is ready and you can go ahead and uh, put it in your food. Okay, and the water is done. So once you do that, you uh, mix in the water, you stir it, and you wait about 15 to 20 minutes. The jet broil, I just pour it from the top. The jet broil has a little, little spot at the end. Okay, let's check out the uh, the campsite. I obviously have a nice protected fire pit area. I got firewood earlier today. Uh, after I eat and the sun goes down, probably have a small fire and then probably go to bed early. I do have a new tent. So I got the uh, uh, Big Agnes uh, uh, copper tent, the Mountain Glow. Uh, I'm going to sleep in that for a little while and then maybe I'll give a review on that um, after four or five times. And of course, an amazing view of... Uh, Lake Monroe. It's 
there's my food. It's not the best hanging job in the world. I mean, gonna get more string, but uh, should keep the mice, the mice away. So it's been a crazy week. It's nice to sit out with Mother Nature. It is very nice that there's not a lot of people out here as well. Super excited about this campsite. Um, probably gonna start a fire here pretty soon. Go to bed early, wake up, eat breakfast, and then uh, head on back, another five miles back. Definitely enjoying today though. Good morning. We've already made our biscuits and gravy and they're stewing and I just finished water for my coffee. Just got some Folgers instants in here in this uh, Sea to Summit cup. Biscuits and gravy. This is like it's delicious and amazing. Oh, that's it. Double check and make sure I got everything packed up. Well, so that's it from uh, Lake Monroe. Last night was extremely quiet. It got kind of cold. Um, one person like hiked in late, about 10.30ish or so. Um, amazing sunset. Pretty nice sunrise. Got a two and a half hour hike back to the truck and back home. Back to the junction of the Peninsula Trail and Grub Trail, Grub Loop. That uh, it's about 2.6 miles from here to the campsite. Um, but enough, there's also a campsite right there. This was one muddy adventure. We, uh, we hiked over 10 miles, five miles out to the campground. Pretty easy, uh, very little elevation going up, a lot going down. Of course, on the way back, we had that elevation coming back. Of course, we had a uh, counter with a snake. If you know what kind of snake that is, put that in the, the comment section below. I have no clue and I didn't want to look it up last night. So last night, amazing night's sleep. It was a little on the cold side. Of course, when we got there, it was very windy, but uh, uh, no animals got in my food. The new tent tested out really well. I do like the mountain glow light. Nice to have little lights inside of a tent. We'll do a review on that tent later. Thanks for joining me on my adventure at the Peninsula Trail in the Hoosier National Forest. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for more reminders. Thanks for watching. See you next time.